So, welcome back. Uh, I didn't get back to the save room yet. Sorry. <laughs> I'll cut this out if I don't say anything important. So I decided to take the red book just in case I get into that room that has the puzzle. And of course I won't, and I'll just have to keep running back and forth these rooms because I'm an idiot. So I'm pretty sure I have to go to the underground facility before I get to, um... Before I get to, uh, fight the Plant 42. I think it's 42. I don't know if that was a coincidence. I doubt it. It seems, it seems like such an obvious thing, the 42 and, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, so, by the way, I have another spider story I want to tell. So, so I like having a spider, um... Uh, spiders, uh, I, I usually, there's usually one around the house, as far as I'm, I say house, but what I really mean is apartment. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, I guess it's for the, uh, I think it's for the, uh, number two door. So, what I was getting at is, um, Oh crap, I should have taken the shotgun. I've used the dormitory key. You know what, I'll just run right back and take the shotgun. So, anyway, uh, so I have usually one spider. Uh, usually they reside in the kitchen because the kitchen is usually the warmest place in the house. Or in the... I keep saying house, but I do mean apartment, actually. <laughs> I don't... I do not own a house. By the way, the biggest spider I ever had was uh, in Glasgow. It was really big. I was I was surprised that the spiders on the British Isle, Isles are so big. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I, I had the spider uh, in my kitchen and uh, I was letting it j chill, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't bothering me to that much. But then one day, but then one day I noticed it was, it was crawling in my, uh, bedroom, on my bedroom f floor, and I said, uh, uh, and I noticed, like, hello, and, uh, I picked up, um, I used a piece of paper because I didn't want to squash it, uh, I used a piece of paper, let it, like, crawl on it, and then I took it back to the kitchen. And then, it somehow found itself, found its way back to my bedroom, and, like, I was trying to pick it up again because, you know, I didn't want to accidentally squash the spider because I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to cause any harm to it. But then when I tried to pick it up, and I noticed it stopped moving. It pulled like its legs inside, and stopped moving. Oh, here's the map of the uh, facility. Okay, what's this? So it's pull, pulled its leg together, and I tried prodding it a little bit, uh, and everything, but. It just, uh, it, it just crawled up and died. It, it just died. It, it just died in my arms tonight. So, and I, honestly, I felt really, really bad for this little spider. Honestly. Uh, I don't know. If it, I don't know if it was the shock or if it was just too cold, because that's the thing about how spiders is. Oh, I accidentally shot its arm off. Well... Well, accidentally is not really apl applicable. I mean, I did mean to kill, shoot it, but... Oh, it's not dead. Stop trying to screw with me. Oh, come on! You better be dead now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Another... Oh, good, 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 good. What a relief. Finally getting some handgun ammo. Jesus, I don't, I don't know... This game is so weird. Like, I keep thinking that like there's way more like ink ribbons and shit. Uh, and there's not. So wait a minute. I have the control room key... Well, I know there's a... I think everybody saw it. <laughs> I think you have to be way... You have to be way too... Way clueless about video games not to see this. This obvious bullshit here. 
Wait, was there a clock in the room? Because there were the the, the pool cues. I know are a hint to a clock-related puzzle, but I did not. I did not. I did not. I didn't hit her. I did not. Well, this this seems weird. Like. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. That's that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, boy. Down into the depths we go. Oh, I like this music, though. That's another thing. This is probably the only Resident Evil game where I actually like the music. Like, for reals. Because, uh... Well, the, the thing is, the music is kind of ambient, and the thing about ambient soundtracks, they can be good. Like I saw, like I talked on the, uh, when I said, when, um, when I was reviewing The Dig, the Lucas Arts Adventure game, like, that ha also has an ambient soundtrack. The problem with that, and my only real problem with ambient sound soundtracks, and it's, you know, it's not really much of a problem. Hmm, I wonder how I'm supposed to push this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I have to push it over here and then push it against that wall. Uh, so... I do like ambient soundtracks. I think that's a... Is that a vent? I think that's just supposed to be a vent, but it looks like there's spice about to kind of jump out of there. Looks dangerous. Yeah, okay. So, I'll push... Now I'll push this against that wall. So, uh, so the thing about ambient soundtracks is that they can be really good, but they're but the thing is like they're not very memorable most of the time. So it's like this kind of music it fits this environment perfectly, but I'll be damned if I can remember this music after you know I stop playing. I do like the, the I do like the credits theme to this. It's so cheesy and dumb. <laughs> It's it's very very 90s. Oh, I love 90s video game music. Oh my god. I mean, I love NES, you know, 80s video game music too because of that the bleeps and bloops, but 90s video game music especially just has that like very special like cheesy quality to it. Okay, here's some herbs. Uh, uh, I I definitely made a mistake lugging this book around. Oh dear, into the shark tank we go. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I hate this. Okay. Uh, I just came from there. So wait, is that... So that's like down here. I think this is the safe room. If it's not... Okay, this is a place where if you were Jill, you would get to uh, use the use the uh, toxins on the roots which are here okay so that's oh oh shiny something shiny I want that but as Chris you ha you have no chance there's a bag here nothing useful inside Oop. well that's not all. okay so wait a sec if I'm going to be swimming with the sharks so I gotta make a mad dash over there. I don't know which one of those doors is locked. I hope neither. Now run, Forest, run! Oh dear. Oof. Oh, God. Yes, get rid of it now. No, 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 no. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, now I have no... I don't have a health item. I, ugh. Please let this be the room where I get to drain the water.
Ah, sweet. There's a button, will you push it? Ah, okay, good. So this opened the door next door. God, that sounded stupid. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the sharks are now, like, flipping around over here, somewhere. Imagine making these sharks a whole lot more intimidating in the remake. Even though you never... There's not, like, a big shark boss fight or anything. Oh, clips, clips. So wait, is this literally as Chris... No, there has to be more to this. There's some shotgun ammo. Oh, this is literally just gearing up for the Plant 42, because I did, you saw those big double doors, I didn't go through them, because I know the boss is waiting on the other side. Oh, something shiny. Something shiny over there. What is it, what is it? Yes, dormitory key. Okay, good, 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 that's what I needed. That's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, I was wondering, like, they're literally gonna give me the fucking book and not gonna let me, like, do anything with it. Wait, are the sharks, like, near the door? Of course they are, of course they are. Because I think they can still, ooh, I, still, I think they can still, like, hurt me. Ugh, I really, ugh. I really wouldn't want to waste ammo on those. Oh, God, yes, thank you. I'm gonna have to backtrack all the way to the save room because I ha because I'm still lugging this stupid book around. Yeah, this part is way easier in this version than it is in the uh, well l l well easier is relative. I I guess what I mean is this is simpler because they put a whole big uh, thing where you had to it, they turned to like the whole fish fish tank draining thing into into. In Complete way more comp. They made it way more complicated. Let's go use that dormitory key. Then I'll go back and get some herb. Got us some herb. Yes, get rid of this useless key. And then I'll uh, go back and get some herb. Yeah, those double doors at the back. Those take to the boss. I'm not sure if I can go through them, and I'm afraid if I go through them. Uh, then I won't be able to, then I won't be coming out <laughs> until the boss is dead. And I'm also hurt right now, which doesn't bode well. So I thought I could, like, you know, get rid of those bees by burning them, but I'm beginning to think that was something you did in the uh, remake again. So yeah, it's a bit confusing, like, you can get a little confused uh, by this stuff. Oh wait, yeah. I'll eat that. I'll take the other herb. Because I'm gonna have to stick this... Oh wait, let me just quickly check in case there is actually something. Okay, yeah, no. This, this goes in the... It does go in the... Uh, in the bookcase in that room that which I just unlocked, which I didn't go into yet. So, I'm not sure if uh, we might do the boss fight in this episode. Let me just quickly scout this out, because I might have to go... Yep, 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 yep. You sure are in here. Man, I got a lot of bullets now. This bo uh, boss fight is literal. This boss fight is genuinely the hardest boss fight in the game. Especially as Chris. This one white book, will you take it? Oh no, I can't stick this in here. All right, but that takes us to the boss fight. So... You know what, fuck it, I'll, I'll make it back to the... I'll make it back to the save room. You know what, I'll save the game while I'm at it. Fuck it if it is the final, uh... <laughs> fuck it if it is the final, uh... 
ink ribbon. They wanted to make the game super hard and complicated just to fuck with me. Sure, let's 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 play the let's play Capcom at their own game. But yeah, like I was about to say, this is legitimately the hardest boss fight in the game, and especially as Chris, because if you have the because you can weaken. Uh, th that was the J-Bolt, the thing that, uh, maybe I showed it, maybe I didn't. J-Bolt is the thing that you can use to weaken the plant before you go and fight it. And not only can you weaken it as Jill beforehand, then you have the fucking rocket launcher, which does way more damage. So, yeah. So those crests were used for the, uh... So, yeah, okay, so I do remember... So where do, you, where do you get the Magnum? I do think you get the Magnum in this. Okay, we're locked, we're loaded. Uh, time to go kill a plant. <laughs> that doesn't sound very exciting, but trust me, it's more excitement than I would, I would really want from a plant. I'm not moving yet, by the way. So he's gonna throw me down. And then I gotta get on the move. Yeah, this... I'm still fine. I'm not sure, like, there's not, like, a whole lot of strategy to this. I, sh I just gotta check up, make sure that those, uh, the acid doesn't completely, like, fuck me up. Oh, no, this is a, this is a bad angle. Ugh. Okay, I maybe should shouldn't run past the fireplace. Oh god, no, no, no. Okay. Please, please stop dropping acid. Please drop <laughs> stop dropping acid on me. Wait, is that a herb? Oh wait, it's not dead yet. Okay. I thought it was dead. Oof. Is it dead now? Because I think it's supposed to start melting or something. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright. Okay. Ooh, and I'm in caution mode, so I better... Nice. Alright, good. Great. Got rid of the stupid plant. I got another key. So now I gotta get back to the house. And the scary part is that once we get back to the house, it's it's hunter time. <laughs> We're time for this cutscene. Wesker! Chris! You're alive! My words exactly. <laughs> Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. 
Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place oh, to Oh, I forgot safety. to check what. I'll key look around the house actually. a little more. Okay. But I think Let's there's only going. the helmet rooms left, if I'm not horribly mistaken. Let me just quickly check what what key this is, and then we'll end the episode. But there was something on the ground. Oh yeah, it's the helmet. Make way for Darth Helmet! Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, I thought that was something you could pick up. Okay, next time. Let's see how completely boned we are. Bye!